hello and welcome to a new video and also a crazy hair I don't know what to do I <laughs> I am this kind of person person that wash my hair once or twice a week and every time I wash my hair this is like I got so much volume in my outgrown side cut but like nothing in the long hair and this annoys me so freaking bad I just wanted to be flat um, we just have to live with it maybe for a couple of months and then I will cut my hair short uh, so yeah today I am here with the first impression and I am here with the Ulala La palette from Colourpop and this is just the box I can't remember if I talked about this in uh, will I buy it I don't know and I probably said that I didn't want to buy it because it's a pink palette but here I am I have it I have had it for a long couple of months maybe since um, December or January I don't remember but I haven't used it yet and it looks like this so this is one of their nine pan palettes and I also have the soul and I also got the mar palette and they just released they have also a purple and a green palette now but this is the pink it's ulala and why I didn't thought I was going to buy it because I really don't like pink that much but plastic I have watched a lot of videos with this and I felt it looked pretty good actually so yeah uh, I am going to use this today as my first impression in my first impression of this palette okay um when I'm recording this I haven't been recording for like a week because I have been away because it was my birthday last week I don't know when this is coming up because I pre-phoned a lot but now I just want to sit down Play with some makeup and this is like the longest intro ever and or I focus. I don't really know. Okay, so I hope I am in focus now and I think... I think I will start with this poodle, this up here. And I am not going to swatch this palette. So I have no idea how this shade looks. So I will take this in my crease. This looks maybe a little bit more pink than was that I expected it to be. But I'm totally okay with that. And I had like a shitty day at work. So I asked my boyfriend when I was going home if he could tap a bath for me. And he did it. So I have been in the bath for like one hour eating melon and drink Pepsi and watch YouTube. The best ever. So I am so freaking warm. So something like this, I think I liked it. Is It is pink, but the, not like super super pink. Okay. I think I will take cat. Sorry. I think I will take Caddy, this purple one, and put it out here. I think I like this purple. It was super easy to blend out, and super easy to apply. I don't know if you can hear persons outside but it's like a, when I'm recording it's like they have been waiting for me before they start to scream outside night and I am like what is your freaking problem okay so this shade was so easy I have <laughs> some fallouts I am sure that you can do this without getting any fallouts, but I 
never do my base before my eyes so I really don't care if I get fallouts because I have no base on. For my inner corner or for in here I think I will take opalant this one in the middle and I think this is a little bit shimmer Ooh. okay maybe this wasn't that opaque on its own I think I will cut my crease for this do a half cut crease and I will take the color pop no filter concealer and yes it is this was so much better I think it can be better just with you spraying it if you want to I didn't want to spray I don't know why, because it's easier to spray than uh, cut the crease. Uh, I will go in with the shade from that I have in my crease again, just to make this line a little bit better. And then I will go in with the purple shade again and just soften this out. something like that so something like this I think it looks pretty okay I hope I will just go in with my crease color a little bit higher out here maybe not that high but okay what's done is done so okay I have a crazy amount of fallouts I will fix that and then I will do my base and then we will do the under eyes and also my inner corners together so I will be back with my base on okay so it's time for the under eyes and I think I will take maybe two three colors first I will start with sunbar this super pink I think it's super pink at least it's a little bit hard to see and I will take this on my lower lash then I also will go in with I think I will take Caddy this one the purple one I have and just take it a little bit on the lower lash where I took the pink one for my inner corner I think I will take this tickle and this looks like it may contain glitter specks I don't really know so I will just dig in my brush and then I will spray this and hopefully this will look good okay I think I maybe went a little bit overboard but something like this and maybe I should in with it here as well okay so <laughs> I will fix the other eye put on mascara and put on a lipstick and then I will come back with a finished look and tell you what my first impression of this Ulala La palette is so this is the finished look for my waterline I used boots from Colourpop I love this pen and for my lips I first was like maybe I should do a really bright pink but then I didn't wanted to go that way so I took Rose Mather from Jeffree Star um, I have a mini this was in the nude volume 1 I think so I took this one and I think it goes good with the look so this is my finished look and my first impression of the Ulala La palette from Colourpop and even though this is dirty even though this is a pink palette me, I am not super into pink, but when you look at it, it's not only pinks. You have like this one, and this one, and this one, and this one that are not like super pink, and also you have the purple. So 
I like it even though I don't like pink. I think it's fun that Colourpop do these smaller palettes and these like one color, this monochromatic palettes almost. Um, so I think that is fun. I don't know if I think these palettes are as good as the other shadows. I have tested some nine pans like this. I have tested the uh, Yes Please palette and the Zodiac and the Good Sport. And I don't think they are the exact same in the formula. I think these are good shadows. This is a cheap palette. So I think it's $12. And you got nine good shadows. But I don't... It's not the best shadows I have ever tried. But I like it. And I... I am happy that I bought this palette. I think. I am pleased with this first look. It's... I'm going more into like purple and pink now that I did before and it's going to be fun to play with this and maybe do like one super pink look and then also maybe do like a more neutral look with a really popping inner corner like maybe use these two and then Moonstruck and maybe this Trove so I'm looking forward to playing more with this if you want to see something special with this, please let me know and I will see if I can fix it. But my first impression, it's a good palette for $12 and it is a good palette. It's not the best palette I have ever tried. It's far not the worst. Far not the worst. It's not the worst palette I have ever tried. It's a good palette and it's only $12 with this, which is pretty cheap. So that was my first impression with the Ooh La La palette from Colourpop. So I really hope you liked this video and my hair is itching me. It's like my body hates me or like my hair hates me. Oh. So I really hope you liked this video and yeah, I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!